guys i am feeling much better today i was looking at the video that i made for last week and i was in such a mood last week like my mindset was just not there i spent the morning sort of doing the little things that i needed to get done in the office and now i feel refreshed and ready to tackle this painting once again it just feels like all the little things that i needed to do were cluttering up my mind and now that I've gotten them out of the way I can start fresh I can sit down I can concentrate on my work so that's what we're gonna do today so far isn't that so cute i knew that i definitely wanted a green room and i don't know something about this room i just really really wanted it to be like a dark racing car green green i am not so sure about this yellow i think i might just paint it over and make it blue like this i, I kind of had this idea to have the sky be like a gradient but i don't think that's really coming across so i think i'm just gonna paint that blue as well i think i'm gonna like that better like up to here and this part i actually made a mistake this is supposed to be a part of the door so i don't know why i painted it yellow and then we just have one more square i'm so excited i painted my glass blue and i like it so much better than the yellow uh so i think this bottom yellow one is really gonna have to be painted green I'm working on the last square of my mouse house 
Ta-da! I've noticed that as I've progressed, I'm using more and more acrylic gouache. I think I just prefer the medium, but it definitely gives you a different look. You can see the texture that the watercolor leaves in the background of the green wall here. But then this, when I painted it on, this is an acrylic gouache. It was very streaky and I was actually quite worried about how streaky it was. But then when it dries, it actually dries down so matte and so even. It's definitely just a different look. So by far, the most useful tool I have when it, I've, I've just noticed I have paint everywhere. Anyway, by far the most useful tool I have when it comes to painting is creating a swatch sheet. I highly recommend you do this. So all I did here is I take my color and I add white to tint it and then I add black to shade it and you can see all the different colors that you can get from just one color and that way whenever I want to do something in a painting and I have a particular color in mind then I can just take a look at this and then I'll know what color it is that I need to mix to get the color that I need that way you don't have to start with like a crazy amount of paints if you know how to mix your colors to create the color that you want I am so nearly done. <laughs> the very last room, I just have these three spots. So something that I like to do in paintings, if you can tell, is I like to use the same colors over and over again because I feel like it just makes it more cohesive. So the blues in her outfit, I will use again for the slippers on the floor and the flowers. And then the curtain yellow I have on the yellow dish and then the yellow pot. And then the greens here, I have the greens there, the browns. Basically just ki kind of calling back um, the colors that I've used so that the whole room looks more cohesive in my opinion. So what I want to do is I want to have one color for these three pieces that I've left blank there. But I can't decide on what that color is should be here we go here's the finished painting i decided on making like a patchwork quilt for the blanket and then just using the colors that i already had in the painting for the other blank spaces that i had left behind i think that's really cute and that gives it whoa what was that um it gives it more of that country vibe that the rest of the rooms have yay last room time to scan it and make our pattern